Okay, so for this problem, it says prices of zero coupon bonds are these and calculate the one year full rate to for two years. So what does this actually mean, right? This means that the flow rate is being deferred two years, right? But we want to calculate one year after. So what we're looking at is that we need to find the flow rate from two to three. Right. So now they give us all of these uh, this information and we they expect us to calculate it. But how do we actually calculate it if there isn't any equation involved? Well, there is an equation, right? The equation is that we always have to sum these intervals by using a spot rate, right? So it'd be one plus s to the three to the third power, right? three years equals to one plus the forward rate that we're trying to solve, right, times uh, the spot rate of the amount that has been deferred, right, because how would this equal this, right? Now what we're going to do is that we're going to take, we're going to use these, this information to figure out what is happening here. Okay, well, um, what I'm seeing here is that from a maturity of, for example, this would, this scenario would look of something as one over a maturity of a spot rate at time one would equal 0 0.95420, right? Right. But now, I'm guessing that we just need to use, since we need the spot rate at time three and time, um and time two they already gave us the prices right so instead of just the regular one plus s to the three to the three we could convert this to one over one plus s three to the three and make it equal to 0.85892 same for spot rate two right so if we convert it to these then that means that the forward rate also has to be um, converted to a present value form, right? Now, let's divide both of these. Right, and then we're going to get 0.94. We set it equal to 1. Now we're going to move this to the other side. So 1 divided by 0.94695. We have 1.056 here. We have one, so we get, get rid of these, get rid of these. We have one left, so we're going to subtract that from one to get the forward rate. And we find out that the forward rate is 0.05601304, which is closest to the answer 